Hi, this is Michelle Fontaine for Oral and Global Health. So today I would like to speak to you about how, what to do to replace missing teeth. There are many consequences for that. Of course, there are first of all the aesthetics. If you're missing teeth in the front, uh, it, you will be wanting to replace these teeth uh, quite rapidly. If it's in the back, it's going to be the chewing function that will be altered. And what's very important for your dentist and your hygienist is the fact that when we lose a tooth, we also lose the bone that was holding that tooth in the jaw, and it will never come back. So there are different uh, options. You can stay like that, if, especially if some people choose to uh, not replace missing teeth in the back, but your chewing function will be disturbed. Uh, what, what happens is, let's say I'm missing a, a lower molar, um, there is going to be a big space there and so big that I'm not going to want to chew on this side, I'm going to be chewing mostly on the other side. And what's going to happen is all the muscles and the teeth will be stimulated much more on this side than on this side. The teeth, it's funny, we don't think of it that way, but when teeth chew on food, they get cleaned by the food. So if you're only chewing on one side, this side will have a lot more plaque on it. So even though you're brushing, I'm finding my patients that have some missing teeth, they'll have more deposits, more uh, tartar, and more plaque on the side that they're not chewing on. So that's one thing. The next thing is, because you're going to be only chewing on one side, you're going to be wearing away the teeth on this side more. It's also going to affect your articulation here because when we open and close our jaw, we have a joint here. So that also is going to be, you know, this side is going to be used more, and so it's going to affect your jaw also. So, um, and uh, <clears throat> so one of the ways that we can replace the teeth is to, um, to use a partial, a partial denture. So this is a model made of stone. Okay, that we've uh, we've taken an impression of somebody's mouth, and then we make it into a model, and then we've been able to build a partial denture on this model. So as you can see, this uh, this person in particular is missing a few teeth, and so <clears throat> the dentist has built this partial denture, which in this case replaces the front teeth, premolar, molar another premolar and some molars. So this person obviously would have trouble smiling and chewing. So one of the uh, disadvantages of this is that uh, it's removable and so most people are not very keen on that and they're very often that we have uh, we associate uh, dentures with old age and so you know, we don't want to be have this in our mouth because we we figured, you know, we're getting old because we have a denture. But luckily now, with all the hygiene that we're doing for people and all the prevention that we're doing, more and more people are not losing their teeth anymore. Of course, sometimes it still happens. Uh, the to a tooth will break, uh, decay is too deep, or uh, perhaps uh, lack of money. But I always tell people it's much cheaper to fix a tooth if it's possible to fix it than to uh, remove it because people think it stops there. You remove the tooth and you don't have a problem anymore. You know, you have a problem. You now have to replace this tooth and it's much more expensive to replace a missing tooth. Um, again, another option will be a bridge. So a bridge is, if you think of a bridge, in reality, you have the bridge and something holding the bridge. So the something holding the bridge is that going to be actually two teeth usually beside the one tooth that's missing. So I, here I have a, a model to show you. Okay, So this person okay, is missing many teeth there, but this here you'll see that there's a different color. This is a bridge. So let me take a, let me show you what that looks like. So this, in this case, is called a five unit bridge. So there's one tooth here where it will be holding with a tooth here. These two teeth are missing for this person and this here, the root of this tooth will be here. So the two teeth that are holding this bridge in the mouth is this one and this one. But for this 
to hold in the mouth, we've had to do something to these two teeth holding the teeth uh, holding the bridge. We've had to grind them down quite a bit. This is like the regular size of the tooth, and now you see this one has been reduced quite a bit. And it's only so that the cap that goes on top of it can fit. So that's one of the major disadvantages of a bridge, is that no, no, uh, you, in, in addition to losing two teeth, you also need to trim down the two abutment teeth, or anchor teeth, teeth holding the bridge in the mouth have to be reduced. When you reduce a tooth, it's, it can be dangerous for that tooth, because this tooth can, you know, you might need a root canal with it if, if, you, if you damage it too much. If you, you're stressing this tooth. Another thing is, when we lose teeth, uh, like I said before, you lose bone also because this bone, it's called alveolar bone, it's only there if the root of the tooth is there. When we chew, the mastication forces on the tooth stimulate the bone holding this tooth in the jaw and keeps it strong. When you remove a tooth, for X reasons, this bone is no longer stimulated and disappear. It resorbs. So when you do have a bridge, you know, the bone will still resorb. So sometimes we'll, people will have a bridge and you will notice that there's like a, I don't know if you can see, there's like a space in here because the bone has gone up. But it's still a good choice. I, I think uh, it's still more popular than the partial. And it's, it's more expensive, of course. <clears throat> the third part, the third possibility, is an implant. So, an, what is an implant? An implant is a titanium post. It's like a special metal post. Right now, I can't, I don't really have a model for that. So, it would be this picture. Let's see. It would look like this. Let me see. I'll show you the tooth, what it looks like. So, this is a normal tooth. This is the gums. Here, the white here with the little brown specks, that's the alveolar bone, that's the special bone. And this is the tooth, With this is the crown, and this is the root of the tooth. An implant, if you see, it's a titanium, it's like a screw, that will be put into the bone of your tooth, that's right here, the gums are right here. So basically it's to imitate the root of your tooth. And so the advantages of an implant is the fact that because there is something in the bone and that you're going to be chewing on this tooth, it's going to stimulate this, the alveolar bone to stay there. And so this tooth, um, or let's say the, this implant will imitate the, the old tooth that was there and will keep the structures holding the, the teeth in, or the tooth in the jaw, it, it'll keep it there. And then you will be putting on a crown over this implant so that in the mouth it'll look normal and it'll feel normal and you'll be able to chew normally on it. So the big advantage of the implant is the fact that you don't lose the bone and people yeah, you want to go to a dentist that has done a few implants, and not all dentists do implants. So just you know, your your professional that is following you will be able to advise you on who to see, and uh, you have to have <clears throat> a good health uh, so that this uh, this implant will stay. So it's usually you know first we have to verify that you are a good candidate, uh, that your health is good. And that also the bone that you have in your in the space where you're missing the tooth is good and solid, and then there will be the, the actual procedure, and it's sort of like a sur surgical procedure. And so then this titanium implant will be put into your bone of your jaw, and the gums will be closed over it and let heal because what we want is we want the bone to grow around this implant so that it will get very solid and stable and within three or six months uh, the crown will be able to be put on top of this so but dentistry is evolving incredibly right now and this is what I'm describing to you is the norm for now 
but uh, more and more you know things are changing and um, try to keep current and ask your dentist for questions let's see what he recommends for you um, uh, the implant cost will be about the same implant uh, same cost as a bridge uh, the cost for the partial will be less it's just that it's going to be more costly because it's just not equivalent with the bridge or the implant you will feel like you have your own tooth uh, and not with a partial so um, I've ho I hope I've uh, helped answer some questions and please feel free if you have other questions to ask me or your dentist or your hygienist and they'll be able to uh, answer even more questions and also they are keeping up to date with the new technology uh, which is always making it very very interesting for the dental field so we'll talk to you soon